Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2025, and we are here with Dr. Adam Flanders. Uh, he is with RSNA, and he is board liaison for information technology uh, at RSNA. And we also have with us uh, Dimitri Yanakopoulos. He is chief innovation officer at Rad AI. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us today. Hi, Brian. Thanks for having us. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Looking forward to talking. Now, one of the things that uh, RSNA has launched in the last few months and, and what we're going to focus on today is the RSNA Ventures project. So, Dr. Flanders, can you tell us a little bit about RSNA Ventures and uh, then we'll talk to Dimitri uh, as Rad AI is your first commercial partner. So, uh, what exactly is RSNA Ventures? So, uh, we're, RSNA, is, first of all, is really excited about this announcement. We announced it early in October. Uh, and uh, it's really uh, an opportunity it, first of all, it's a fully owned subsidiary of RSNA, um, but it's really an opportunity for us to closely collaborate and innovate with vendor partners, maybe even with investors or even academic facilities that are developing new technologies with the goal really to actually create new and innovative products that are going to help our membership, to help the radiologists uh, through their day and help the patients that we serve. And that's really the broadest goal for it right now. Great. Now, the f your first partnership is with Rad AI. Uh, Dimitri, can you talk a little bit about the nature of the partnership and what you're going to be doing together? Absolutely. So we were very excited to be selected as the first partner um, by RSNA Ventures. And what we're doing is taking the knowledge base of RSNA uh, that they're structuring, that they're providing to us, and making it actionable within the point of care for the radiologist. Um, so recognizing what the radiologist said, if there's a relevant guidance available for that radiologist at that point in time, providing them those differentials, and not just any differentials, but RSNA's differentials. Um, so a big focus of AI recently has been building trust. Like, you know, there's been 10 years of talk about AI within radiology, and now it's to the point of actual application and utilization. And having this kind of technology directly integrated into the point of care is amazing. Like you can use AI to extract out the insights and then also use it to present the differentials and information with RSNA substantiation behind it uh, right there for the radiologist. That's amazing. Now, Dimitri, what else are you showing here at Rad AI at, at RSNA? So we just announced our multi-model speech engine, uh, and what it's doing is it's actually running multiple processes behind the scenes, so multiple speech recognition models, um, some fine-tuned towards dates, some towards numbers, others towards you know medical terminology specifically relevant to radiology, uh, identifying which one is the most appropriate for what was just said by the radiologist, and then pulling all that together into one cohesive experience for the radiologist. Uh, what we've already seen are five to 10% reductions in error time solely by using this new speech engine alone. So, you know, really dynamic, really powerful, uh, and ultimately taking us from, you know, historical speech recognition, which is all like sound-based, uh, to speech understanding, so that it has a real impact on the radiology report. That's great. Uh, Dr. Flanders, so Rad AI is your first partner with RSNA Ventures. What, what kind of uh, partnerships are you looking forward to or would you like to do with uh, other companies here uh, in the radiology universe? Well, in the broadest sense of the word, Brian, uh, the sky's the limit. And what, what has been really interesting is, is that since we made the announcement, there have literally been hundreds of contacts with RSNA uh, from, you know, from investors to small startups to some of the larger companies uh, to kind of explore ideas and most of these are kind of at the nascent step where we're just kind of filtering through them and figuring out what we want to do next but i think the main thing is is right now we have a lot of work to do right now to make this this new partnership a great success which i think it will be where we're going to have we're going to have to build out a lot of great educational content that's customized for our you know, for for the radiology community in general, but we have a nice we have a nice game plan going forward for that, and uh, you know we're going to concentrate on that. But at the same time, we're going to look at a lot of these other contacts that have happened. But it's been really interesting and very exciting. Perfect. Well, we will be watching it closely. Well, uh, Dr. Adam Flanders and Dr. Uh, and Dimitri uh, Yanakopoulos, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Signing off for the Imaging Wire. My name is Brian Casey.